what are some of the things that the people who are listening can do to protect themselves? What's the, the 80, 20 on that? Um, I would stop shaking hands with people. No offense. Wave high at them, fist bump, elbow bump. I think that's just one measure. I think the other key things are, you know, just don't touch your face. Um, by the way, really embarrassing. At Washington State, there was a press conference about the epidemic. And as she was fumbling through her papers, she, she was saying, everyone, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. She was flipping her paper and licking like her fingers to get through the bits fingers. of in the middle of the press conference, telling people don't touch their face. Oh, it was wow. terrible. What a what a um, what is it? It's not face palm, is it? It's like face. Yeah. You don't want a face palm. That's the problem. Oh god. Yeah, I know. Anyways, it's become an internet meme uh, got now. Got but got but it, it's it's just so terrible. But I think you know, avoid touching elevator buttons. Just avoid touching doorknobs. I know that is really hard, but doorknobs are not disinfected often. Don't touch things in public. You have to kind of be a little germaphobe until this thing is over, you know? Um, and uh, public transit is the other thing. Like, I, I see like this, you know, the city leaders are always saying public transit is fine, but public transit is also one of the a confined space, limited ventilation. You know what I'm talking about. It, and it doesn't have – unlike the airplane. The airplane, at least, it takes in new air every three or five minutes. So the air in the, in the cabin is being replaced every three or five minutes. So in certain ways, the airplane is pretty good. Unless you get unlucky and sit someone next to a cough, the airplane is actually pretty good in terms of replacing the air. But that's not true on a bus or a train. you know. And so – and I don't know if they use – super high small micron HEPA filters that can filter out virus particles because not every air filter does. So, uh, you know, I think the other key thing is people ask, do you travel? I say, look, at some point, you know, once the pandemic becomes really real and, and it's like in 80, what's, that number? what's, 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 what's really real mean? As in like the epidemic is literally everywhere. 80, you know, let's just say if I was in the United States, it's an 80% of all the states, you know, I'm going to say it's probably everywhere. And staying here is no better than getting on a plane and going there. Granted, you know, air, airport is, um, is a place to exchange, but I don't think, I don't think you should stop your life. And people ask me how anxious am I am. My, my on a scale of one to 10, I'm a six. I'm worried, but I'm not anxious because I'm anxious about things that is something I can control that I'm not doing, right? Like testing. I'm anxious that we're not getting enough testing. But am I anxious for the inevitable? Inevitable because the CDC, one of the CDC um, vaccine immunology head says and report report to Congress, this virus is inevitable. It will be in every single state. In that sense, I am not anxious because it's like. Just brace yourself, come what may, right? So I have that kind of stoic mentality. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not everyone does. Mm -hmm. But, you know, protect yourself as much as you can. As for masks, um, surgical masks are pretty useless. Uh, and N95 masks do not filter out everything. Um, but N95 masks are better. But at the same time, um, if you wear a beard, it's totally useless. If I'm wearing some uh, the N95 mask, by the way, because you need, mask, you need full full uh, you need seal full, around, like, full seal around it. Um, and sur again, the surgical mask, the mask, what they mostly do is it catches your spray from your mouth when you're talking to someone. Hey, how's it going? I have a great idea, and you're spraying. You know, even if you're someone who's very careful, everyone sprays the saliva when they talk at dinner time. It's natural, um, but it, it does not actually protect you from inhaling um, the virus if it's in a droplet, tiny droplet in the air. Does that make sense? So, it, like, it, it some sometimes people have a false sense of security when they wear a mask. It's not. It's it's to actually protect others, not to protect yourself necessarily.